So one way to help me really think about this vlogging thing is my to treat it as a personal diary. And I've written a diary for most of my life growing up. And this is just a multi-dimensional way to do it, right? Of course, you know, I'm not going to get as explicit as I do in my personal diaries. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's interesting to think about. Right? Stories that we post every day. I mean, everyone is a vlogger, vlogger, quote unquote. I like to call myself a travel vlogger, vlogger now, travel vlogger, vlogger now, but... In essence, everyone does it through their stories that they like to share with the world and it's human nature to want to share. I think you just don't realize how, you know, how valuable your viewpoints are and your experiences could always inspire someone. Hello, I realize I do need to properly wrap up my Spain vlogs personal philosophy when it comes to traveling that I want to share more with you guys about um, yeah let's focus on less materialistic uh, here on YouTube I there is an overwhelmingly amount of materialistic content and I want to bring out more of the philosophy psychology and the mental aspects of traveling and what I like to do lifestyle sure these are the services that help Hi everyone! Thank you for watching the Spain vlogs. It was my first time to go to Europe and no, this was not a solo trip. Was not a solo trip. Uh, but still, it was fun. Um, I love traveling, whether it's by myself or with someone. Can we work with someone? Can we work with someone? It's a different experience. So, um, I highly recommend doing any sort of traveling, uh, whether it's by yourself or with someone. And you always learn something. With someone else, you kind of have to learn how to accommodate each other, how to uh, improvise, how to agree on certain things and plan things ahead, different pacings, different personalities. I wanted to wrap up the Spain videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, of course. If you have any suggestions, comments, or questions, please do message me or leave a comment. The feedback really helps me to grow this channel. And I, I um, didn't shop um, that much in Spain, but I want, do want to share with you the couple things that I did uh, get in Spain. And first of all, I wanted to share this uh, ring in the style of uh, Anthony Gaudi or A Anthony Gaudi this uh, ring and it came in this box and I got this at the night illumination um, or um, experience I should say um, it was in case anyone hasn't seen it yet but you it's all it's an all dark experience and you see the the work of uh, Gaudi and it's located in Barcelona, so I highly recommend that. So this ring I got from the museum shop. Cool. It's kind of random. Uh, yes, I, I buy random things. I am not a luxury buyer. First of all, I don't have that much money. <laughs> so you're gonna see some like very like random typical everyday things like this. So <laughs> I saw this at Primark and it was like one euro and I just love all the colors. Um this is really cute and I love toothbrush covers I ever since I discovered them I can't be without them I just feel like it's much much cleaner through toothbrush or travel with them so uh, these are really nice Primark yes oh and I got a pair of pants which is in the wash right now but uh, from Primark and they were so good they were like only like 13 euros or something like that and it was my first time at Primark uh, because it's my first time in Europe so I got to see how it was like it's like a like a Ross kind of I would say uh, everyday essentials for your wardrobe that you can get for really cheap and some random household items so that was Primark and this is uh, my little souvenir for myself from the Picasso Museum seeing spot for, uh, from this visit to uh, Barcelona in Spain. 
highly recommend going to see Picasso. Just make a reservation online. It's easy. Get it done. Get it out of the way. And and arrive early because they let me in early. So just don't be late. Um, an awesome keychain of the painting uh, called Las uh, Meninas. I love this painting simply because there was Picasso did so much work in analyzing uh, Velasquez's uh, original painting that this was based off of. It's very interesting. If you haven't been to this museum, you need to check it out and specifically check out this painting and the story behind it. And it's just a calendar. A little uh, mini calendar. That's all I got for myself from, the, from that. Tiny Tiger, Copenhagen. Um, uh, a brand from Denmark. From Denmark. And I love the little household items they have there. Things were overall pretty cheap. Um, I love the material of these. Um, what are they called? Like toiletry bags? Yeah. And they're just clear so you can see what you put in them. I love that. And it's clear, but it has a design. So isn't that cool? And then there are various locations throughout Spain. Yeah, I figured I could put little travel size makeup and lotions in here and keep everything organized. And um, having a big pa bigger pouch, it's just, I don't know, it just overloads things. I, I got a few of these. I got one in each color. Really cute. Um, I got one of these. I know that like some subscription makeup, uh, I forgot what it's called, glossy or something, they give you these for free. But this is the first time that I've seen it in the store and I want to try it out. So it's just a padded, it's really just a bag. Okay, <laughs> it's nothing exciting. But secure and cute is good. Next, a couple of um, earrings from Hima. I love them. They are so cute. These are discounted Christmas earrings. They cheap, about like. Uh, three dollars, three US dollars, and they seem well made too, so why not? I just grabbed a whole bunch. Honestly, I don't need to be buying more of these things, but they're, they're just so unique. I just talked about them some earrings that I don't need, but you know, you're traveling, so it's all the stuff I got. Yeah, so, um, so a round of um, content will be dun dun dun. dun. Japan! So excited for that. Look forward to it because in planning for a while in my head and just I think just typed up some stuff on the computer about it. It's gonna gonna be fun. It's gonna be a solo trip. I'll, gonna, I'll be meeting up with uh, some people in Japan, but mostly it will be a very solitary experience. And I cannot wait. My third trip to Japan. So yeah. There's lots of content to come on this channel. If you have specific videos you want me to make in terms of Japan or travel or lifestyle in general, please let me know. All right, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. All right, hope you guys uh, have a great new year.